So Lisa Riley, we're going to start out with her to talk about the uh, suicide prevention. She's with the Capital Region uh, um, American Suicide Prevention. American, yep. American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Ooh, what a title. I know. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but you're doing a great job, and we're so happy to have you here to talk about that. It's too bad that you have to even be here. You know. not, not personally, but no, you know I what know. I mean. You know, I always like to come and visit, and I appreciate you being um, open to even just kind of exploring this topic with yeah. us. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it really is still something that we need to talk about. Yeah. And we, we're noticing more and more that uh, many of the military coming back, the suicide rate is very high. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's something that you deal with personally or whether it's just something that it's part of the statistics. You know, the, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention is really, uh, we believe, part of the answer to all of that. And uh, certainly the uh, increased incidence in our military, uh, both active and uh, retired service members, um, is a concern. You know, we fund research to learn about uh, better treatments, uh, prevention, and certainly awareness. Um, we want our vets, our active duty members, to have good care. And really, this is all about doing the research, um, getting the right answers, and really getting people to come forward. There's still so much stigma associated um, with mental illness, uh, depression, and even just talking about the idea of suicide. Well, it's a lot of times people don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. and, and please correct this if, if I'm wrong or what, but it seems to me that when people see um, friends, relatives they think are suicide prone, they don't want to use the word because it might make them think about doing right, it. Right. Is, is this something we should talk about or is this something we should not? You know, the research really suggests that that's a myth, that idea of saying the word suicide to an individual who you think may be at risk, that you might put the idea in their head. And it, it kind of makes sense, but, but really the research says that's not true. In fact, a lot of the newer um, prevention programs really say it's okay to ask somebody. It's really okay to say, you know what, you're not coming to work, you're not, uh, you're not coming out, you're not doing anything that you used to do, we're concerned, um, are you thinking about suicide? It's okay to ask. And the theory is, especially with people that have struggled with suicidal thoughts and behavior or survived an attempt, um, say, I just wanted somebody to ask. You know, is that right? There's a burden of carrying that. You know, whether it's loneliness or hopelessness or isolation, it's really a burden. But to have somebody say, I know you're upset, I care. Can we talk about Let's it? talk about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that, that, that new kind of let's be open about it, just like the thoughts about how long ago we didn't even want to say the word breast cancer or oh, any right, kind of right, cancer. Yeah, yeah. So this kind of an event, doing this with you, the, the awareness events that we, we hold is really about talking about it. Are there any signs that people should look for, uh, uh, I say people, in general? Because it could be a friend, it could be a relative, it yeah. could be a parent, it could be a child thinking about their parents. Yeah. Are there, is there any signs? I know that one of the signs that I've heard about is they start giving things away. Right, right. Yeah, there are a number of things. Usually we, we, we try to educate the community about basically any change in behavior. So if somebody's, you know, very social, um, always showing up, always at church, always taking part in activities, and all of a sudden they pull back, they isolate, they don't return calls or emails. So change in behavior. Um, someone who usually will have a drink of wine once a week now is drinking more often, missing uh, appointments, missing work because of drinking too much. The use of drug and alcohol oftentimes becomes a management tool for somebody struggling. And, and that can certainly be uh, the possibility. But, but even good behavior all of a sudden when someone's been really uh, kind of a school bully or a bad actor in class, um, kids that often will change behavior and become a really good student all of a sudden, um, sitting in the front rather than the back, doing work, sometimes they've already made the decision about what they're going to do and they're at peace and their behavior is changing. So change in behavior, whether good or bad, okay. can be a real sign. So we know that you're your, the organization does a lot of research, it does a lot of awareness, but you need money to do that. So what do. are you doing to we raise do. some money? Um, I have a friend who always says, no money, no mission. And our yeah. mission is to um, is basically to support the research, but, to, but certainly to educate and bring awareness. We are holding, um, it'll be the ninth annual Out of the Darkness Walk for Rita in Saratoga. There's probably 300 walks across the country every year. Um, this Called is Out of Darkness. Out of the Darkness Walks, yeah. These are community walks, uh, typically three miles or less. This is our signature fundraiser, and I'm proud to say that this Capital Region Walk, this Saratoga Walk, is 
always finishing in the top 10. Mm -hmm. um, so the money that we raise uh, goes to support research. We do a lot of education in schools. We do a lot of uh, evening education, community education things. We're supporting our survivors, those that have lost loved ones. And uh, we're, I'm proud to tell you that we, we now support a full-time staff member who does all of our work during There's the day. There's a quilt. Tell, tell us about the quilt. Yeah, these are the memory quilts. Um, every year, uh, our chapter will um, invite survivors to, to put uh, a piece, uh, a quilt piece on the quilt. Um, and the idea is that this, is, this really puts a face to the statistics, 38,000 people in this country lose their I lives to suicide, 1,500 in, in the state of New York. That's one every 13 minutes. So the statistics can be very overwhelming. Um, and just like any other statistic, you can just kind of move through it. But when you see the quilts, um, th this really is a very moving, it, it's sort of like the AIDS quilt. It really mm -hmm. just, it compounds the real issue, mm -hmm. what's happening, yeah. you know? And it gives it space. It a, really a, does. A, a, it takes space to it look does. at. You, you know, know we do, we bring the quilts with us when we visit our legislators in March at our advocacy day. And, and just to say, hey, this affects your constituents. Right. You know, the idea of teaching about mental illness yeah. in schools or teaching suicide prevention in schools. These are your constituents. Now, when you know? is the walk? Se uh, September 15th, Sunday. And they go to your website to find out more Absolutely. about Absolutely. Um, they can certainly go to um, AFSP.org. A uh, quicker link to the walk is uh, www.outofthedarkness.org. And then you can just click on the area. There's and, a, yeah, pick the event. There's a number of walks. Find New York. Go right to um, Saratoga. Um, it's the walk for Rita. And uh, please register, come with us. We have an estimate of about 1,300 walkers for that day. And uh, every and year it gets bigger. And if you're watching this on the web, uh, you certainly, wherever you live in the United States, right. there's probably a walk near you. That's and right. you can, uh, unfortunately, we have walks for this, but it's, if yeah. we could just eradicate all of it, yeah. it'd be a miracle, Absolutely. but we can't. So we're just gonna keep fighting, we're right? Keep, we're keep moving, we keep talking about it. We're bringing it out of the darkness. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah. Lisa, it's always, just so great to see you. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thanks. Good. For your time. Maybe sometime it'll be a different topic. That's right. But yeah. Agreed. Good. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be seeing the video of the 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 walk, and then you'll get an idea of what what it's all about. And when we come back, we'll be speaking with Max Suddeth about dinosaurs, motion, and you name it. He's here to tell us about it. To be one of a group in that same moment, where being alone, hidden away, always seems safer, until now. <laughs> 